Hi, this is Ed. I want to talk to you all today about walking with God. And uh, also we're going to talk a little bit about Enoch and uh, his relationship to the Lord uh, and how it relates to us. And I'm, I'm going to uh, also give you a little update on, on the video I did the other day on the cloud, signs and the clouds and the numbers. I believe that the Lord has uh, confirmed to me what these numbers mean. And, and I'm excited to share this with you guys. So uh, first we're going to look at a few scriptures. Uh, you know, dealing with walking in, with God, because our walk with God is very important. We, we must do our best at all times to, uh, to keep at peace with God and, and, and be doing what, what He is calling us to do, which, which mainly is just to follow Him and do, do what He tells us to do. So we're, we're first going to go to the book of uh, Ephesians. We're going to read chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you are called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. You now it's it's very important for us to walk in love with one another and, and to pursue peace with, with others as, as much as possible. Uh, for we don't want to be caught uh, having anything against someone when the Lord comes for his bride. You know, uh, that might not be a good thing for us. So um, pursue love with, with everyone as much as possible. Uh, try to strive to, to be in peace. And uh, we're also going to look at Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 through 21. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord giving thanks always for the things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Uh, we are to make the best use of our time that we can. You know, for uh, our time is limited here uh, on earth, and uh, our time is indeed getting short. Uh, before things are going to be wrapping up in, in this, this age that we live in. So we need to, to make the best use of our time. And uh, also, um, to be filled with the Spirit. We need, need to, uh, not that necessarily the Holy Spirit leaves us. Of course, we can grieve Him, and, and, and he, it, the Scriptures say, you know, if, if we grieve Him, we, he, he could depart from us. But... We're to be continually, that, that, that word actually in the Amplified, I believe, reads continually filled with the Spirit. So uh, we need to strive at all times just to be led by the Spirit, to, to walk in the Spirit in all things. And uh, if we do that, we can't go wrong. And uh, also, we need to be careful not to put down others. You know, there's, there's been a lot of that uh, these, in these last days, you know, it's especially among the body of Christ, which shouldn't be. You know, uh, like I said, we, we need to strive to walk in love towards one another. If you don't have anything good to say to someone, it's best just to not say anything at all. For we are going to have to give an account for every word that we speak to God. So we must be very careful of the words we speak. So now uh, we're going to go to Galatians. We're going to read Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 26. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another or envying one another. You know, there again, we, we need to be walking in the Spirit at all times, and, and then the, the, the fruit of the Spirit will be evident in our lives. Uh, you know, pe people, you can tell it on people right away, you know, whether they're walking in the Spirit or not. 
And I know we 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 all fall short at times, and and praise God, he he knows that, and he he works with us on that. All he he asks for us to do is to do our best, and and when we do wrong to someone, just repent quickly of it and and get it out out the way. You know, we 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 just have to keep moving forward, and uh, you know, trying to get cl- as close to God as we can, especially in in this uh, late hour in which we live. So um, I want to look at one more scripture uh, before I'm going to talk a little bit about these numbers. First um, Peter chapter one verses thirteen through sixteen. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully on the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lust, as in your ignorance. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in your conduct. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. You know, that that's not a popular message today. People don't want to hear that, that they need to be holy. And uh, you, you won't find many preachers preaching that message today. But it needs to be preached. It's very important. You know, it, was, it wouldn't be in the Word of God if it wasn't important. And uh, this is in the, both the Old and the New Testament, uh, where it, it, it's a command for us to be holy. You know, that doesn't mean we're never going to fall short. We're not going to, you know, we will sin. We will make mistakes. But the point is we need to, to be trying our best to walk as holy of a life as we can. And of course, we can only do that through the Holy Spirit helping us to do so. And he will. He, he delights to help us to do the will of God. So uh, praise God. Uh, I, I get excited every time I, I read the Word of God. And I, I learn new things all the time. And I, I hope you guys are, are digging into the Word yourselves and uh, just trying to learn more. Uh, for we, we can never learn too much. And uh, anyway, I want to talk to, to you now a little bit about these numbers. You know, uh, for a while now, I've been asking the Lord uh, to confirm to me, because I've really believed that this was a year that he's going to be coming back for his bride and, and that the tribulation will begin. And uh, I believe that's why he showed me these numbers. And, uh, you know, th- thanks to you, uh, Kevin, you mentioned about 44 being judgment. And uh, thank you, Laurel, uh, for, for your comment on uh, 555, uh, talking about walking with God. That, that gave me an inspiration to do this video here. And uh, I did look it up. Um, I, uh, the best source I found uh, for 444 is it means a period of trial or tribulation, you know, which, which goes along with the 44, judgment. And... Uh, the 555, uh, uh, same thing with Laurel. It says walking with God. That's that's the best one uh, that I found on it. And that, that seems to uh, fit perfectly. And uh, it goes right along with the scripture in Genesis. You know, talking about with uh, Enoch. And uh, we're going to read that one. En- uh, let's see, Genesis 5, verse uh, 24. Uh, is it Genesis 5? Okay. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. You know, uh, when I first thought about this, uh, after I realized this 555 uh, meant walking with God, I said, well, that that's nice, you know, because it fits in with 5, 5 being dealing with grace and, and redemption. But and and I didn't really think any more about it right away. But then uh, as I was uh, riding around, uh, the Lord spoke to me, and uh, and He gave me this scripture I just read to you about Enoch walking with God. And it's like wow. And uh, I hope this gets you excited, guys, because it really excited me. I hope you get this like like it it hit me. 
that's what he's been telling me. The 444, speaking of the tribulation, which, which is soon to come, and also the catching away of the bride. That's a scripture the Lord gave me. Was was Genesis five twenty four talking about Enoch being caught up? You know he he got translated, and uh, it's it's just awesome. I'm 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 so excited. Uh, I I really believe that's it. And, and uh, you know I really feel like I got another confirmation on the five 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 because when I was looking that up, uh, one of these websites uh, when it is mentioned walking with God. Uh, they also use the same scripture that the Lord had already given me, you know, Genesis 5, 24. So uh, that's that's confirmation to me. And uh, I'm just I'm so excited uh, to share this with you guys. It's 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 really, really very interesting how the Lord uses different things to speak to us. I would have never thought he would speak to me through numbers uh, I'm like that's told you on that other video I'm, I'm not really so much into numbers I don't pay much attention to them but uh, the Lord can use anything to get our attention and and sometimes it is through numbers so uh, I do want to also give you an interpretation uh, of, of what the Lord uh, shared with me just a little while ago dealing with uh, the you know these 444 and the 555 he said that the tribulation hour is at hand, and so is my coming for my bride. Walk with me as Enoch did, and you shall soon be caught up to be with me in my heavenly kingdom. So praise God. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, stay close to Jesus. Make sure you're walking with the Lord. Uh, as best as you can if you have any sin in your life that you're uh, struggling with uh, you need to cut it off you know ask ask the Holy Spirit to, to help you he, he will he will help you to, to deal with it and I'm not talking to just about any any sin we commit you know not thinking about it this is like a, a, a willful sin something that you know you're doing and you know you're doing wrong please please deal with it today you know for the time is very short and if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior if you haven't asked him to come into your heart yet please do it now ask him to come in and forgive you of your sins to cleanse you to fill you with his Holy Spirit and to make you a child of God and he will don't delay if you haven't made this decision so praise God. I hope this message blesses you guys as, as it's blessed me. I'm, I'm just so excited. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a little bit beside myself right now uh, at, at what the Lord has, has shown me through these numbers. So uh, be blessed, you guys. Uh, keep looking up, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless.